<laughs> what is up everybody welcome back to another video in this video i'm gonna make it very short and sweet i'm gonna tell you race for chase lovers how we can get to the second pick let's get it started and so the lions they need the second pick to win the race for chase pretty much because the Bengals are gonna get the first pick and if we're being honest here the Bengals could select him. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, I, I, I would be a little bit surprised, but they could. They, they definitely could. So uh, it may not matter anyways. But our best chance would be getting the second pick. So I got my handy dandy pink pencil. And I'm going to go through how the Lions can do it. And here's the first thing they need to do. They need to lose out. Yes. And this looks kind of likely at this point. You have next up, you have the Buccaneers. Then you have the Broncos. Then you have the Packers. I don't think we're going to be the Packers, even though I really want to. And then the Broncos and the Buccaneers. Ah, uh, we could beat them. We could beat both of those teams. I don't know. I wouldn't expect it, though. There's a chance. I don't think it'll happen, though. So that's first and foremost. No, we are not talking about the playoffs in this video. No. Usually, we're talking about the Lions can still make the playoffs. No, no. We're talking about how they can lose out. So they have to lose out first and foremost. Then you need the Giants to win two of their last three, and this is going to be the hardest part. The Giants need to win two of their last three games, at least. I don't, I don't see this happening. I really don't see this happening. The Giants are not a team that I have a lot of confidence in. I mean, they blew the game to the Eagles. Even though the Eagles have now six wins, still don't think the Eagles are that good of a team. I mean, we beat them, so that tells you a little bit. The Giants need to beat either Miami, Washington, or Philadelphia. They may beat Philly the second time they play them. I don't know, but Philly's going to be really playing for that playoff spot most likely unless the Cowboys kind of just take them out of it. Washington, I could see them winning that game. And maybe Miami, maybe they beat Miami the Dolphins, okay? But also, you need Miami to win at least one game. And like I said, they play the Giants, okay? So there's a little bit of stuff going on there. So possibly, if the Giants beat Miami, that would be one win. Then they either have to beat Washington or Philly. Say say they beat Washington, okay? They win their two easier ones, they win those. Now you need the Dolphins to win one game between the Giants, Sissy, and the Patriots. Now, if the Giants are already beating Miami, then Miami can't beat the Giants as well, okay? So then Miami has to either beat Cincinnati or the Patriots. I think Cincinnati would make the most sense. I think that's the most possible. I don't see them being the Patriots for some crazy reason, but if they do bench everybody, then maybe in their divisional rival, crazy stuff happens. Hopefully it happens, but I would say since he's your best bet there. And then finally, they need the Redskins to win a game, and they play Philly, the Giants, and Dallas. And like I said, maybe Philly, I don't think it'll happen, but who knows? The Giants, they also need to win two of their last three games, so if they beat the, so if the Redskins beat the Giants, then they have to win their other two games versus Philly and Miami, which I don't see happening. So I think the best case for the Redskins is they either beat Philadelphia or they somehow beat Dallas. Okay, both of those teams are fighting for the division, so it's gonna be really hard to see either of those two teams win. Two teams win. Look, man, it the odds are not in our favor. Okay, the odds have not been in our favor on a lot of things, but the opportunity is still out there. And I'm at the point where you know what? If you really want him, just go trade up for him. I mean, if you're sitting at three, just trade up for the dang dude. Okay, if you really want that pressure. Now he wasn't great versus Michigan. He didn't really record anything. I I, I believe he recorded two hurries, and that was it. Michigan did a really good job of getting the ball out of his hands quickly, out of their hands quickly to pretty much negate anything he did. And also versus Wisconsin wasn't much of a factor either. So I know some people are like buying in, they're like this is the dude because he did have some good games against Penn State he went off Wisconsin he went off but he also was quiet in some other games we'll see what happens we'll see how he plays on the NFL so I'm just really doing this for the people that want to see the race for Chase happen okay that's what needs to happen for us to get that second pick now even if that is the case we could possibly not take him with the second pick. I mean, there's other guys that are going to be there, but at that point, you might as well take him because it's either that or a quarterback unless he's already gone. So I just want to get this out to you guys, let you know the path to greatness. Let me hear your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you, bye, for watching, and I'm out.